Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to take this canvas that I have pre-painted in a silver color and do a kind of a scoop uh, acrylic pour. I don't even, yeah, I guess you could call it a pour, but it's mainly a scoop. I'm going to be taking this little sand shovel and scooping it out of this dustpan, the paint that I'm going to put in there. This is kind of in the style of Priscilla Batzel. If any of you guys watch her, she's an amazing artist. I love her. She's very creative. So I thought I would attempt to do one of her style of paintings. Actually, I've already done a couple in that style. One that I was extremely happy with, the other one not so much. So I thought I would try it again. And I also wanted to use a new tool. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like a little crown look on it and I figured I could drag that through the paint and make some cool designs. So let's get started. First off I'm going to spray my dollar store dustpan with some blaster silicone and you always want to spray away from your painting area because if this gets on your canvas your paint's not going to stay. So I have the blaster in the dustpan and I'm going to start adding my paint just randomly. I have no rhyme or reason. Um, the colors I'm going to use are going to be listed on the video itself. I wanted something nice and bright. Okay, I have my colors in the dustpan. I'm just going to give it a little swirl with the skewer. And I'm ready to go. I have no plan. I'm just going to lay the paint on here and see what happens. trying to avoid making any mud. I am seeing a few cells come up and I didn't add any treadmill silicone so I'm guessing the cells are probably being created from the blaster that I sprayed in the bottom. so good on no mud. Got some bright colors here. I love bright. Some crazy color going on there. But I love it. I love it. Use all the paint I can get out of the pan. That's about all I'm going to get out of the pan. I see quite a few cells popping up. I'm going to hit it with a torch and then I'm going to play with it a little bit with the skewer and my little crown tool. Okay, now let's let the fun begin.
Okay, I'm going to hit it with the torch one more time. I had a, quite a few bubbles pop up while I was manipulating the paint. Um, not too crazy about this tool, the crown looking tool in this painting and it, I think it's because the bottom of the canvas, the silver part of the canvas was already dry. I think I would have been able to manipulate the paint more had that been wet. Um, so that's a learning experience for next time I try something like this. So I just went ahead and went with what I could think of since I really couldn't use this much. I used my skewer and I got some interesting little swirls and little doodad type things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.